alone. Exhausted after a 55 mile trek, fleeing his own brother. You see, Jacob, the deceiver, had tricked Esau. He'd got the blessing from his father, and now he had to flee his own family. And he finds himself in a foreign land, and it's dark, and he takes a stone for a pillow as he settles down for the evening. And he must have felt completely vulnerable. There was no protection from the elements, no protection from wild animals, no protection from other tribes. But it is here where Jacob encounters God. Alone and exhausted, he beds down for the night and has this vision of a stairway going from earth all the way up to heaven. And God speaks to him in this place. Suddenly his faith becomes his own faith rather than just being his father's faith. I love it how God meets us just where we are. Jacob awakes with those amazing words, surely God is in this place and I didn't even know it. You see he's fled his earthly father's home He's discovered this place where his eternal father is present. In fact, he renames this location Bethel, the name Bethel meaning the house of God. He has discovered God in the everyday, that God is present. He feels alone, but God is with him. He feels abandoned, but God is still present. He feels vulnerable, but God is still for him. Sometimes, day by day, we can forget that God is present. We can forget that God is surely in this place, even our workplace, even our home, even our community events, that actually God is present. We haven't just got this Old Testament promise to Jacob. We have those words of Jesus as he commissions the disciples thousands of years later when he says, and surely I am with you always, even to the very end of the age. Wherever we embark on our journey, wherever we end up, do we realise that God is with us? that God is at work. No matter how vulnerable we can feel, we do not need to be afraid because he is with us. Let's hear this message today from Jacob, from all those years ago, and have a confidence that wherever we are, we can know God's presence.